marathon running on the map. Now, if that's a fair distance to go, the men are setting out on one of their two walks. This is 20,000 metres, 20 kilometres, just over 13 miles, and there'll be 66 starters from 32 countries. That's a remarkable number. Their problem is obeying the rules, because walking is a progression by steps, so taken that unbroken contact with the ground is maintained at each step. The advancing foot of the walker must make contact with the ground before the rear foot leaves the ground. And if you look very closely, and it's a bit uh, harsh scrutiny of these great athletes to watch them too closely, but they are having difficulty, which is worrying the International Amateur Athletic Federation because a lot of their critics say that this is straight-legged running rather than walking. It's always been a controversial problem, and uh, it's been in and out of the games, Due to judging controversies in the 1924 Olympic Games, walking was excluded from the next games in Amsterdam. It returned in 1932, uh, due to British pressure, really. And when the 50-kilometre walk was introduced, it ran into trouble again. They took them off the track and out onto the roads, and that's where they'll go now. Out from this track, lady of marathon running. Now, what about the walkers? Well, we've got the best of the Soviet Union walkers. We've got uh, in this leading group, well, I can see Canto of Mexico City. Pribilinich, where's 769. Marin of Spain, the little man there, wearing 194. There's Pribilinich. 555 is Ernest at Canto. 822, Evi Sukov of the Soviet Union. Now, are they maintaining unbroken contact with the ground? They're getting around that corner pretty fast as these four break away. Evi Sukov of the Soviet Union leads from Canto of Mexico. Prabilinich of Czechoslovakia. Then Jose Marin uh, of Spain. There they are. There's the first four. And uh, it looks as though that's going to be a very tight struggle. And Udo Bayer nowhere. Now we're out onto the course again, and 5-5-5, five, 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 Ernesto Canto of Mexico with 7-6-9, Josef Pribilinic of Czechoslovakia. Now that's interesting because Canto at 5 feet 7 and 9 and a half stone was the winner of the 1981 Lugano Cup. And Pribilinic, he leads the world rankings for this year, and he's beaten Jose Marin, I say that, because Marin is the reigning European champion. It's the Czechoslovakian that leads the world rankings, and these two getting away, and they are two of the most experienced men in the field. And Evi Sukov of the Soviet Union is falling back, and it's going to be this man that comes into the uh, stadium first and gets a tremendous cheer, Ernesto Canto, who lives in high altitude at Mexico City at 7,000 feet, which he says gives him extra strong lungs, and of course he's right, and already the second man is in the stadium, and it's the Czech, Josef Pribilinic. Very close indeed. And suddenly they're pouring through the tunnel, and this is going to be one of the closest finishes in modern times for a 20-kilometer walk. Three, four are in the stadium. Ev Sukov for the Soviet Union. Jose Marin of Spain, the European champion, is in. But Ernesto Canto of Mexico, walking with great style. There's the straight leg that he pivots over before the heel is on the ground again. But looking over the far side as we sit, there are many walkers in the stadium. It's a very close finish indeed. Another hot afternoon nearly 80 degrees 13 miles they've been out and back and mexico city will be world champions at 20 kilometer walking and they take the second gold of these championships and they've done well one hour 20 minutes 49 seconds czechoslovakia come in for the silver medal and the soviet union will collect the bronze three most experienced walkers getting one, two, and three. Relief on their faces as they finish that exhausting walk. The one... And remembering that finish in the 20-kilometer walk, Ernesto Canto comes home for Mexico City, raises his arm aloft.
His time, 1 hour, 20 minutes and 49 seconds. Gold to Mexico, silver to Czechoslovakia, and the bronze to the Soviet Union. Ernesto Canto on to the victory rostrum. Number one. What a delight. Follows in a long line. Remember Daniel Bautista, the Pan American champion, world track record holder, uh, who was disqualified in, uh, in Moscow but did so well for Mexican walk. Remember Felix Gomez. And now we have Ernesto Canto. He'll shed a quiet tear over that. Unique gold at these world championships. Czechoslovakia too. Two medals for them now. One in the shot, one in the 20 kilometer walk. And the Soviet Union will collect a bronze and it's expected they'll have many more medals to come. Pribilinic of Czechoslovakia. And the Soviet athlete, athlete collecting the bronze medal there. Another three medals in these world championships. A great day in the Helsinki Stadium. The crowds have come. The sun has been there. The championships have been of the highest order. What a first day to get these championships under.